Welcome to our lecture online. The next one is a spring gun. What we're doing here is we're pushing the bullet into the gun, compressing a spring, a distance of one-sixth of a foot, that's about two inches. The weight of the bullet is 0 0.02 pounds, and the spring constant is 36 pounds per feet. Yes, as you can see, we're using English units on this one. We're going to solve this in two ways. First of all, we're going to assume there's no friction in the barrel, and we want to know what the maximum velocity is when the bullet comes out of the barrel. The second part, we're going to assume there is friction and that the friction force is a constant 2.25 pounds. What will be the velocity max when it leaves the barrel this time? So we can assume that that's going to be slower. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and use the energy equation for part A. So we can say that any work put into the system plus any initial potential energy plus any initial kinetic energy must equal the potential energy final plus the kinetic energy final plus any energy lost due to friction. Of course, in part A, the one being in friction. So we can say that there's no work put into the system because we're starting it when the bullet is in location plus the initial potential energy, that would be one-half kx squared plus the initial kinetic energy, which is zero, plus the final potential energy would be zero, plus the final kinetic energy would be one-half mv squared. So let's go ahead and first of all, oh, wait a minute, energy lost, zero because there's no friction. We weren't quite done yet. So first of all, we can get rid of the one-halves, because we see a one-half on both sides of the equation, so that can go. And what we're trying to find is the velocity max. So we're trying to solve for velocity, which means that k over m times x squared is equal to v squared, or v is equal to the square root of kx squared over m. Now, what do we plug in there? Well, this is equal to the square root of k, which is 36, multiplied times x, which is 1 sixth, and we have to square that, so 1 sixth squared, divided by the mass. Now, notice we weren't given the mass, we're given the weight. So that means the mass is equal to the weight divided by g, which is equal to 0 0.02 pounds, divided by g, which is 32 feet per second squared. So that means we need to plug in here 0 0.02 and then divide it by g, which is the same as multiplying by g, so we'll put the g up here, which would be 32. All right, so notice that 36 times 1 6 squared, that, that is equal to 1. 32 divided by 0.02. 32 divided by uh, 2 would be 16 times 100, that would be 1600, the square root of 1600, and of course that would be equal to 40, and the unit would be 40 feet per second. So that would be the velocity of the bullet as it leaves the barrel of the spring gun when there's no friction in the barrel. But now, for part B, we're supposed to include friction. So we use the same equation, work put into the system, plus any initial potential energy, plus any initial kinetic energy, equals potential energy final plus kinetic energy final plus any work done or energy lost due to the work done to overcome friction. So in this case, we start with the same premise. We have a zero plus one half kx squared plus zero is equal to, potential energy final would be zero, kinetic energy final would be one half mv squared, but now we have energy lost which is force friction times distance. And the friction force is a known quantity. All right, so let's finish this up. So we have 1 half times k, which is 36, times x squared, that would be 1 sixth squared, is equal to 1 half times the mass, that would be the weight divided by g, which is 0 0.02 divided by 32, times v squared is what we're looking for, plus the friction force. The friction force would be 2.25, and the distance would be one-sixth of a foot. All right, 
Simplifying this, this would be 0 0.5 is equal to, uh, that would be, let's see here, 0 0.02. I better grab a calculator for that one. So we have a 0 0.01 divided by 32. So 0 0.01 divided by 32, which is, aha, 0 0.00. 3125v squared plus 2.25 divided by 6. And that would be 0 0.375. So subtracting that from both sides, that would be 0 0.125 is equal to 0 0.0003125v squared, or v is equal to the square root of 0 0.125 divided by 0 0.0003125. Let's see what that's equal to. 0 0.125 divided by 0 0.0003125. Take the square root of that, which is 20 feet per second. So notice that with no friction, the bullet will exit the barrel at 40 feet per second with friction, the bullet will leave the barrel at 20 feet per second. And that's how it's done. Now you see here we have part one. We have a part two, which makes it a little bit more challenging. So let's come back and do some additional questions or uh, challenging questions on this particular problem.